Yeah, but I don't give a shit your training. It's not providing you anything. Physical fitness, yes, but longevity financially, no. Yeah. Like, you're gonna f***ing die under a bridge broke, but you'll be fit. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to man up? If it means working, working more than four, 15 hours now. Hey, this is Miles. I'm 23, based out of Austin, and this is Financial Audit. 23? Okay. You're younger than I thought you were. So, what do you do for a living? I do um, field auditing, so I work with banks of different sorts, and I go out to wherever they have their finances or wherever they're loaning money to, um, making sure that the places that they're loaning money to still keeps that money where they say they are. How much do you make? Um, probably about three to four thousand a month. Well, is it three or four thousand dollars a month? Uh, it, it varies depending That's on the gap. month. That's oh, a big gap. Oh, so you're hourly. Uh, it's piece rate. So I get a uh, base rate. So it's $25 base rate. Sure. And then I get per unit and then I can bid on top of that for mileage or additional time. Is that what hits your job. account or is that before taxes? Uh, before taxes. So what hits your account on average on a monthly basis? Uh, it's 1099. So that amount. What? 1099. Oh, biweekly? It's 1099. So I... No, but how... Oh, oh, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Subcontractor. Woo. Yeah, no, I got you. <laughs> I don't I think I'm tired. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. It's, Are you setting 30% aside for taxes? Uh, yeah. Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> the kind of is pulling some heavy weight. Cause I don't see it anywhere. Yeah. Uh, I try to, um, I, I do you usually try use, to, do you do it or do so you I, not? I've been a 1099 for four years. Um, I usually use my income from January to March to save up enough to get to my, why that's so $4,000. Four thousand is what you've owed these last couple of years. Yeah, just about. After a lot of write-offs. Why right do you do it that way versus setting it aside on a monthly basis just to make sure you're secure? What if you lose a job? Yeah, uh, that's what a something great happens question. And you get less hours, but you have to pay for all the taxes that came before. What are you gonna do? Yeah, I've I've always done it that way, so I never really knew another and way to do January it. And you said January to March, right? Yeah. Okay. Where is that money now? Uh, currently being built up. <laughs> From like zero. Yeah. Yeah, basically. We're halfway through that, January to March. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that's something that's certainly <laughs> something to laugh at. I mean, I would be freaking out. Yeah. Taxes are due. Yeah, doing IRS likes their money. Like a month and a half or so. Okay. So you, sir, are an interesting creature. <laughs> you we had phone calls with you. I didn't, but my casting people did. And they were a little confused because lovely little conversations. I'm getting my life together. Things are going well. I'm budgeting. Things are getting better. And I'm working hard. Then we have your documents. Your documents got sent. Your documents are right here in front of me. I know your percentages. That are being spent. By the way, 9% went to debt payments, but going out to eat was 16%. Yeah. So well, why is why did you tell us that you were doing well when everything in front of... Unless, do you not know what doing well means? Do you not know what budgeting means? Do you not accurately budget? I don't, How do you go about this? I don't think I accurately budget because okay. I, I do it all mentally. So I, I well, okay. Well, obviously that doesn't work. Yeah, yeah, and it's not been working. I've always been wanting to put towards credit cards, and then I get towards my time to pay them, and <laughs> there's like nothing left to. So ever mental really budgeting pay. doesn't work, right? No. What are we doing? Something doesn't work. Uh, stop doing it. And probably figure out something better. <laughs> yeah. How long have you been mentally budgeting? Oh, the the four years I've been doing ten ninety nine. Okay. Why not in those four years have you evolved beyond the thing you know doesn't work and do something that works? Uh, I was making a lot of money before I moved to Austin. So I always had a lot of huge cushion to where it never really impacted my funding or my finances whatsoever. Was the cushion the future income that came from the job or are you talking about a safety net and savings that you had on the side? So I had about 30000 saved up for a long time. Um, like I, I did the six wow. month pillow um, yeah, yeah, yeah. that people always told me about. Oh, yeah. And once I had that, I never really worried about finances. I was always like, well, if everything goes to shit, I'm good. Where'd um, that go? Uh, so You have 2,300 in savings, <laughs> including your investment portfolio, which is nothing. Nothing, yeah. Uh, so I was making like ten to 12000 a month in Pennsylvania, Wow. Um, which was great money. I was Every weekend, I was traveling to a different city and just partying. I was spending probably like... Like eight or nine thousand a month on just partying because I had the money. <laughs> Are you okay? Um, and then everything else after the end of the month because my especially my living expenses um, in Pennsylvania were less than a thousand dollars. What happened to that job? Why are you down here? Uh, so 
uh, when I moved here, the job was promised to me. The job was like, oh, we already have it, everything lined up, we're ready to go. The same job, but down same here? Same job, yep. Okay. So I, I moved down here with that kind of uh, promise. Um, I got here, a couple weeks went by, nothing really happened with that. And then a couple more weeks by, nothing happened. And then uh, it just kind of devolved into spending that, that safety pillow. No. Because okay. every every couple of weeks he'd be like, oh, dude, we signed these new contracts. We're doing all this. We're doing all that. So I kind of and I was with that company for two and a half, three years. So I had a lot of faith in them. Um, and then it just never came to anything. So about January, I my safety pillow was zero. I went from 30,000 from in August to zero in like early January. Why were you okay? That's that's a long time. Why didn't you try to go get any other job that wasn't this job that was promised to you? Because yeah. I think after a month of being promised a job and I haven't started the job, I'm probably starting to look for another job in preparation for them to continue being a. Yeah, I I kind of just was like it was a it was a friend as well, so I kind of just kept holding holding out hope that it would come through and it. Why didn't you go back to Pennsylvania? Uh, so it was in the housing market. So I was doing house inspections. Um, after the housing market kind of crashed, he lost a job as well, kind of. So he, he started having to cut people out of the job completely. And he started taking over territories that were other people's territories. So he could kind of cut funds, uh, in the business. And you would have been cut. I might've been cut. I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sure. Um, but I knew he was struggling. He just never told me that until literally like a month ago that like the business is almost completely gone when did you get the job you have now uh, i got this job in march march of last year so this two thousand dollars in savings you need to double it to pay your to pay your taxes hopefully the yeah. amount that you actually need but then what happens to your savings you have nothing what happens if you lose the job yeah i don't have a plan for that right now Okay. <laughs> at all. I've always believed that access to high quality data and analytics shouldn't have to break the bank. That's why I'm excited to share that today's sponsor, Moomoo, has an extraordinary offer for traders. Moomoo has recently launched an exceptional trade offer that is hard to pass up. They're offering a 3% APY coupon, and here's the kicker, it's valid for an entire three months. This is in addition to the already high 5.1% APY on uninvested cash. When those two numbers are added together, you're looking at an impressive 8.1% APY, which is insane. For new users, depositing $100 earns you 5 free stocks, and a $1,000 deposit secures an impressive 15 free stocks. If you're considering transferring your portfolio to Moomoo, you could be eligible for up to $5,000 in cash rewards. Whether you're a fundamental trader, a technical analysis buff, or simply looking to get started, this platform is ideal. It's the perfect platform for those who wish to become more informed investors without giving up the simplicity we love in an investing app. I also understand the significance of keeping up on market trends. Imagine having the capabilities of a Bloomberg terminal right at your fingertips. Moreover, they exceeded expectations by providing comprehensive analytics tools, such as real-time analysis ratings, company valuations, and financial statement analytics, all at no cost. Explore smarter investing without losing the simplicity you love. Discover Moomoo in the description box below. Uh, then, I mean, I'll just ask why the f*** spending almost 20% of your income going out to eat then? Yeah. Um, if you do not have enough to survive if something were to happen. Yeah, I I have a big friend group and uh, we always go out to eat. It's always kind of like almost an assumption at this point that we're just going out to eat. Yeah. It's just where we're going out to eat. Sure. And I get a little bit of like FOMO of like, oh, I'm going to miss a great conversation. I'm going to miss a great meal. Or You know what you can do though, right? Just shove some sandwiches in your mouth and go. <laughs> and then go to the... Drink some water. <laughs> I mean, honestly, so I have a large friend group too, and we, we definitely like to go out to eat. Yeah. This thing's crazy. <laughs> they beeped like five times, and then... That's not my car, I promise. Is that your plane? White van? No. Go get him. Go get him, Noah. Right at the peak, too. You have to pee? No, right at the peak. Oh, like really good. Yeah, we're getting some heavy <laughs> beeping. You can leave this in, Brandon. Interesting. Either way, uh, I just I don't. Yeah. Okay. So I we go out to eat a lot, but every once in a while, you know, if something financially is happening in someone's life, they're like, "Oh, I can't go out," yeah. and that's fine. Welcome to life. <laughs> Welcome to adulthood. Yeah. I think your future matters more than a simple 
conversation you might miss. Yeah. In in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. No, I I completely agree. I good because you'd be a child if you didn't. Yeah, I I've been stuck in this loop of like, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna save up and I'm gonna start eating at home, and then I buy groceries for home, and then <laughs> training comes around, and then we go we go right after. It's not even like a I don't even think about training? it. Training. Uh, training. Like I I do jujitsu full time. Well, I have so many people come on the show who do jujitsu like it's full a, time. It's a really popular thing in Austin. It's probably like the mecca of jujitsu really? at the moment. Yeah. Okay. You do that full time. Yeah. You so I train. Said? I train twice a day, three hours per session. So what like six f- hours. But do, you, but you pay for that? No. Uh. So you get paid I for that? I teach classes in compensation for uh, my membership. So it's about three twenty five a month. That I get. You work three hours a day. No, no, I don't for... work that. I don't work that three hours. I only do one class a week. It's about an hour a week. Oh, okay. And then fifty-two hours a year. So. That's a lot of okay. That's a lot of time. I mean, I'm not necessarily opposed to it, but that is a lot of time, especially when we sit here and we have a five thousand two hundred fifth forty-five dollar balance on a card. Yeah. Like, I would jujitsu, sure, maybe an hour a day, and then go work and pay off this card. <laughs> yeah. Especially when all the money we have saved up is immediately going to taxes. Yeah. So um, I think I should probably cut back a little bit on jujitsu. It's just it's kind of a, almost like an addiction at this point. Of <laughs> I'm all about it, man. I, yeah. I want you to be able to do it, like truly. Uh, I'm just trying to think about your time right now. Yeah. Because, I mean, you made a minimum of payment towards it, sure. Or you made a little more than that, but then you immediately went and spent it back on this. Now, yeah. this isn't an interest-free period, it looks like, until when? Uh, till next month. F*** you. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Why did you try to do anything then? <laughs> Your balance went up $45. If it's due next month, what kind of behavior is this? Yeah, I, I shouldn't be spending on that card. Well, no sh- <laughs> Why are you? I, I, still see zero, I still see the zero APR, so I see it as like free money. Buddy, no offense, but you're not stupid. You just told me it's next month. Yeah. I'm sure you could see that too because you told me. Yeah. So why the f*** have you not done anything? I think I'm just kind of playing dumb on this part of just letting it ride until what? I start getting APR. Okay. Now, I don't know. Some cards do it. Some cards don't. Sometimes there's back charges and interest if you don't pay it off. Oh, you had a late fee. You had uh, a late fee, but then you got it reversed. Yeah. Why? Why did you almost... Yeah, why were you late? Uh, so... That one, I, I, I've i only had that happen one time on this card. I have it auto-withdraw uh, to the card, but it auto-withdraws the day it's due. And I guess it didn't auto-withdraw in time, so it never went through in time. I'm not too sure why. And then why are you going to the f***ing soup peddler and just getting things on Amazon, all this sh- Yeah. On a card that you can't pay off, that's going to start accruing interest next month at 30%. 30 percent yeah it's it's 30 death stupid percent and again you break you rose the balance you put a payment towards it 290 dollars that's not an insignificant payment towards this no. that starts making progress then you spent 295 dollars then there was the fee but it ends up being reversed yeah at least i didn't have to pay the fee twice buddy it's gonna be like hundred thirty dollars a month in interest. Hundred and thirty dollars a month. So now, whatever payment you just made towards it, you essentially, in order to make that same amount of progress, you got to put an extra hundred thirty dollars towards it on a monthly basis, and then not spend anything. Yeah, which I don't know if that's it. possible with you. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not sure if it is either. Oh come on! I, what do I, you not give a? Do you not give a about your future? I do. I, that's why I'm starting to put money towards index funds and stuff. So I think it's important for the long term. Like what index fund? I I I just started it like literally this what last index month. fund uh, M one S and P five hundred okay tell me the S and P five hundred on average what does it bring back on average eight percent okay that's over the overall general market S and P five hundred is closer to about ten hmm. tell me what's bigger thirty or ten thirty yeah so we probably put the money towards the thirty percent debt hmm. okay mm-hmm. yeah I mean it's it's twenty more <laughs> yeah. So I, I, it just it doesn't make any mathematical sense to be throwing everything into the market like that. Yeah. So I I want to pay off this credit card completely this year. I I, I don't have a 
unreasonable goal of paying it off next month. I don't think that's even what? physically possible. Oh, to pay it off next month. Yeah, yeah. I don't I don't think that's possible. I want to pay no, it off within not. the year. Um, so that's kind of my New Year's resolution. How are you getting there, though? I mean, you already, f- again, knew this was coming. You talked to my producers, and you're like, yeah, I'm budgeting. I'm starting to do better and all this stuff. Well, again, the balance went up. Interest starts to accrue next month. Yeah. Now you're telling me I want to pay it off by the end of the year. Correlating that to what you said before versus what's in front of us, what is your plan? What in your mind would have this paid off by the end of the year? Because there are no actions in front of us surrounding that. No actions behind you surrounding that that make that an actual reality. Yeah, so I want to get that, you said 16% eating out. I want to get that down to almost zero, if not completely zero. But that's not the only thing, man. And then you have just bull stopping and grabbing and taquitos and extra just crap that doesn't matter. It's an additional 15%. Yeah. Additional 15%. Yeah. Your transportation is a crazy 15% as well. Groceries was only 3%. Unknown shopping, that's Walmart, Amazon, Target. You know, you can get anything. So we don't know what it is without seeing the actual receipt. It's almost 4%. Subscriptions is 1%. That's not crazy. But again, that would have taken your debt payment from like 9.7% to 10.7%. Mm. Then your other large purchases are 5%. So food That's and selling out money and uh, something happened to Honda. Uh, the Honda was just a uh, oil change in our alignment. Okay. Yeah, for the car. Which that's fair. I mean, that fits in. That fits in. Zelling out, we don't know what that was for, but. Okay. So, so food out totals almost 30% of my monthly. In terms of that you absolutely do not need, most likely is th- between 30, 35%. That's crazy. I didn't know that. I thought it was a lot less. Yep. Yeah, I thought that was like maybe 10% or so. What's your rent? Uh, I split it equally. What's your rent? Six. Uh, my rent's eight, 840. Truest. Oh, the bal- Even though you put $168 towards it, balance only went down. Oh. Twelve dollars. Yeah. Twelve dollars. Why? Because sixty-seven dollars of purchases. Not a crazy amount of money, but you're making no progress on this. But you're playing for this. Probably also paying this off by the end of the year. How are you gonna do that with yeah. these actions? So that one was inactive, and the only thing that was an accidental purchase on that card through Amazon. I, <laughs> I, I thought I clicked my debit card, but it, it was my credit card that I clicked on that one so four thousand two hundred eighty six dollars uh eighty nine dollars ninety six cents the minimum monthly payment of 132 dollars it's chunky uh, and then yeah there was the i guess accidental purchase with whatever you got from amazon what did you even get uh spats for jujitsu and then yeah a death ninety dollars of interest was charged crazy 25 percent interest rate it's ridiculous Okay, members one. This is your car. What's your car? What is your car? Uh, it's a 2018 Honda Accord Sport 2OT. Car names are so f- <laughs> stupid. The way <laughs> Tesla names them just makes sense. It's this model, and it's long range or short range. Yeah. Do you want a piece of shit though, or an actual car? Well, probably something that'll go 300,000 miles and not 150. Hmm. That's true. So Honda, 15,700. $38.43. Interest, 3.4%. Pretty good. That is pretty good. I had a friend. Go on. Like, what, <laughs> like, what the what does that even uh, possibly mean? My, my friend worked at the Honda, um, and he talked his boss into giving me the lowest APR they could wow. offer. Wow. What's your credit score? Uh, it's right at 700 on the dot. Okay. Yeah. They, oh, yeah. They do little special things. With a minimum monthly payment of $547. So, again, that is chunky as well. Are you trying to claim that as a business? Uh, the payment? I just claimed a depreciation. Car. I just claimed depreciation on that. And what is the term of this loan? Uh, it's a uh, five-year. This is the statement that f-ing blows my mind. This is insanity. This makes no sense. This is the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. It, this is just with the with what you're trying to get to and what you told us. This sh- makes no sense sense man no sense so let's start it in the checking account is two thousand dollars wonderful but we spent most of the money that came in anyway because wendy's in and out 
kebabsies, uh, gyro, smirk burn, smoking burnouts. You smoke? Yeah. What? Everyone on the show smokes. <laughs> What's up with everyone who has bad finances also making bad decisions and uh, becoming addicted to nicotine? Yeah, it's probably like an addiction of spending and nicotine combined. Yeah. Uh, bad choices. McDonald's, Wendy's, Halal Hub, an Apple subscription of some kind, Juice Land, another Apple, Starbucks, Figure Eight Coffee, Pedroso's Pizza, Bakery Cafe, KGBB, uh, KGBBQ, some ales, more barbecue, Spotify subscription, tacos, another Apple Bill, Thundercloud subs, some more smoking to your death, Wendy's. Uh, well, I mean, that, no, this is probably worth it. And then some taquitos and Mojo Coffee, Apple, Halal Hub. What is this two Austin? Con- I think it's a convenience store. Yeah. And $9, $6. So I highly doubt you needed that by any means, especially since you go to HEB. So. Yeah. It's uh, it's just a convenience store attached to a Euro place. Oh, okay. So have some stupid taquitos. Yeah. Twin Peaks, Shooters, Taquitos. A uh, vending machine, I think. Mojo Coffee, Halal Hub, Apple Bill, McDonald's, Smoking Away Your Life, Versace. Versace? That was a gift. Congratulations. Gift yourself out of debt. <laughs> what? I don't give a shit. More coffee, Apple. Apple Store that time. $60. Uh, smoking yourself into the ground. iPhone Sids. Sids. Uh, the Cities? the payment plan for Apple. Oh, you're on a payment plan for your iPhone? Yeah. Holy, okay, dang hot. Some taquitos, bakery cafe, iPhone, holy smokes, McDonald's, more taquitos, figure eight, in and out, in and out, civil goat, pizza, tova, more smoking. Jeez, it's first it's just so expensive too. Amazon, Highland Lounge, Hulu subscription, there's nothing good there anyway. Taquitos. <laughs> Pedro's Pizza and Snowy Village. That's insane, dude. Yeah. That's insane. And then you have two hundred sixty dollars invested, or two hundred eighty-six dollars invested. So that goes even the point. I mean, yeah, I'm throwing things towards index funds. You threw almost three hundred dollars towards it. Yeah. Uh, that's not. That's not. You're not even putting in a debt in your retirement. Yeah. So, <laughs> I, I'm. C- <laughs> your plan. Remind me. That it was just to. I just want to pay off my credit cards. But yeah, but your plan to do how. Uh, it's so. going to be that, uh, I mean, because a lot of the convenience store stuff, especially, is just wasted income as well. Like, I don't need to stop there. So, like, I mean, that's 30% of my income I could put towards my credit cards versus eating out. So, I want to cut back a lot on that. I know it's not going to go to zero, but I'm trying to get it down to, like, five or so percent. Why is it not going to go to zero? Because uh, I still want to be social enough in my friend group to... Yeah, you can be uh, again. You can be social and like, you you don't you're. I don't know. I feel like you're trying to justify the spending the money when it's money that you can't spend because that five percent will make a massive dent into your overall. Yeah. Income. Plus, you're not even saving money for taxes. So like, yeah. you like I don't think you go and spend five percent on that. Yeah. I want you to spend thirty percent on funding, but you do that after you're ma- after you're hitting twenty percent into retirement, after you've paid off all your debt, after you have a fully funded emergency fund. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I just never did it that way. I've never, I've always had success paying taxes, so I've just never done it that way. Yeah, you have. Everyone has success in everything that they're gambling on until the second they don't. Mm, that's true. And it's just risk, man. You're just having extra risk on it. Again, what if your hours get cut? Again, what yeah. if like the economy is in a you know massive downturn? What if it like. You and your workforce, other than like that brief little blue at the beginning of COVID, you, you've you never experienced an actual economic downturn. No. You don't know what it's like. You're just coasting. You're coasting on the idea that this is, this is how it is, that this is the world that we're in, and this is what it's going to be forever. You have nothing saved up for the rainy day, yeah. and the rainy day comes. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I had my rainy day, and I'm glad I had those funds, but... Well, your rainy day was a little more of a choice. You just sat on your for six months. Yeah. I get that someone you over but you could have also been making some action like okay i get it dude's not giving me the job yet cool but in your mind he would cool it still hasn't happened yet so let's work until he gives us the job yeah gives us the job you know you gotta work until then but you were just sitting on your and on your savings that was terrible yeah that was one of my biggest financial mistakes i think i've made in a long time yeah 
ever probably. <laughs> uh, okay. So you're willing to cut back? Uh, yeah, I'm, I I want to start cutting back, actually cooking at home and not just blowing my money. What do you think is going to be different, though? I mean, you're doing it for the social engagement. So what are your – what with the FOMO that you've dealt with, what are you going to be able to do that combats that? Yeah, yeah. So uh, I like that sandwich idea, actually. I might take that one. Just bringing sandwiches so I can at least get home. Without being like, hungry. well, I was seeing eat before, but like you can do yeah. that too. I don't care. Yeah, because you, you might get in trouble at some places. But. Yeah, yeah. Because I go straight from training to eating, and we don't right. finish training till like eight thirty nine, mm-hmm. and then I don't get then home. Then you drive somewhere. Yeah, and then we drive somewhere. Eat in the car. In, yeah, well, so I could eat in the car maybe. It's a sandwich. Something. It's easy. Yeah. Um, but and then I I don't normally get home till like eleven every night. Again, I'm not trying to deprive you either. Like yeah, I really yeah. want you to. But more than anything, because your future matters, I want you to get out of debt. Get yeah. a fully funded emergency fund. Because it's dangerous that you do not have that. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm just used to the spending I had in Pennsylvania, and I still mentally haven't broken that, like, I, I'll always have another 10K Wasn't check Wasn't that coming. two years ago, though? Yeah, almost two years ago. Okay, well, it's two years. Go on. Yeah. Welcome, welcome to the real world. So after what you're setting aside for taxes, should be, <laughs> you have a total income on average of $2,450 a month. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Your minimum monthly debt payments. Let's take a look here. No student loans or anything, huh? No. Seven hundred thirty-one dollars and ninety cents of minimum monthly payments. That's insane. Your portion of rent. One more time. Uh, eight forty. And your portion of utilities. Uh, it's about fifty a month. What about internet? Uh, thirty. What's your car insurance? Uh, two fifty. Ew. Yeah. I have an accident. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Thank God for USA. I uh I got quotes around here once I moved here, and uh, Geico tried to charge me five hundred. So your gas is insane, but it's probably for work. Yeah, it's all for work. Three hundred seventy-four dollars and three cents, all for work. No, I mean you drive to jujitsu and to places as well. I mean it's not, but okay. Three hundred dollars for groceries. Hundred dollars for the toilet paper fund. This is everything else you need in life. Just everything else that is just gonna be. You know, mm-hmm. necessary. Any ongoing medical things you have to pay for? Uh, no, I do. I do get like skin infections a lot from jujitsu. So mm. maybe how often do you have to treat this? <laughs> Recently, it was, antibiotics. Yeah, antibiotics. So. And what happens when you become resistant? Uh, we haven't got there yet, so we're just gonna act. Do you know like people that. who have? Uh, yeah, yeah. What happens? It's bad. It's bad. Yeah, what happens? So you you start on orals. Um, if you get on orals for long enough and it still doesn't treat it, they take you to IV. IV is very strong and it starts having like bowel moving problems, stomach problems, uh, like acid reflux. Uh, it's just in general, very bad for you. And then that bill probably gets very expensive. Yeah. So I'm, people haven't become resistant to the IV version. Uh, people do become. And then what? Uh, you, you kind of just keep throwing IV at it. Why not find a sport that doesn't like ruin your skin? Yeah, but it's not as fun. You can choke people out. Like, no, uh, it's a weird thing to want to do. Uh, but Break also, huh? Break people's arms, legs. You can do. You can do pretty much anything you want to, like a normal human. Yeah, harming people. That sounds fun. Yeah, that's great. Uh, and infected skin. Yeah, that also does not sound fun. No, it's not. What's, I have, what's the I have infection a staph like? infection right now, actually. What's that? Uh, staph infection. It's a. Uh, it's something that lives on your skin. It eats at your skin if you don't take care of it. Where is it? On my leg. Show us. Do you want band-aid. to? Oh, it's, it's teeny tiny. Yeah. I see the redness. Does yeah, it hurt? So, Are you getting oh, treated? Yeah, it hurts a lot. Uh, yeah, I'm on orals right now. What's it from? Like specifically, what, uh, what so, part of the jujitsu? So it, it's just a, uh, exposed skin to a mat, and then usually. The like the worst ones are when you have cuts open. So I had a cut on my leg, and it got into the cut. Oh gosh! But I've seen when they don't get treated, it creates like a almost like it looks like a worm or like a bullet went through you. So it's just like a hole into you. Yeah, those are pretty bad. Yeah. So what should we set aside on a monthly basis for this <laughs> medic- medic- uh, medical medical like, issues? Oh, it's only like I have insurance, so like probably forty bucks. Are you willing to show us uh, a takedown on my producer? Can I do it to you? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it to him, yeah. Yeah, you will. Okay. You said 40? <laughs> yeah, about 40. 
Only if he consents. I consent. <laughs> he consents. <laughs> Say it in the end of the episode, and you'll see uh, Noah, who so many of you love, <laughs> can get blasted. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. So if you're actually setting aside money for taxes, you wouldn't be making it. Now, I know you have some good months, which must be barely let you survive but no actually you're not because the credit card debt has gone up so that i mean that makes sense it makes actual sense how the credit card debt has just continually been going up because what you need to survive man is two thousand seven hundred fifteen dollars and ninety three cents again if you're actually adequately preparing for taxes you have like two thousand four hundred fifty dollars left on a monthly basis yeah so, again, I'm good with you doing the jujitsu and all that stuff, but how many hours a week are you working right now? Probably about 15. 15? Yeah. F*** you. What is this? Why? If you can't pay off a credit card, why are you only working 15 hours a week? What are you? You're not a baby. What are you doing? Yeah. I, I've had it work for me, so I just kept But it's not. You're building up debt. You're building up debt. It's not working. It's not working. It's obviously not working, right? Yeah. Okay. So why? 15 hours a week? That's, uh, that's just you just not giving a <laughs> That's just you being a child. Oh, I actually had hope for a second, and I still kind of do. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> it's just... Oh, okay. 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 15 hours a week, man? I thought I was sitting across from someone, and he's willing to cut back on his <laughs> And even if you do, man, you're making like... You're not making enough and you only work 15 hours a week and you were willing to, you talked to our producers and said you were on the right track, on the right track, on the right track. Okay, cool, cool, on the right track. But you're building up credit card debt. If you're building up credit card debt in order to survive, I think you would need to work maybe 20 hours a week, 20 hours a week. Would that be crazy? No. no. So why the f why are you only working 15? You're 23. You're not 16. Yeah. I, I, I've worked really long hours with really low pay and this job's pretty high pay for really but you're not making hours. enough yeah. so why are you not working more uh, even at another job i don't give a shit. 15 hours a week is nothing yeah it's kind of you're retired it's it's close to the top of what they offer um there's only a couple other of job other job yeah so that's kind of where my training comes in i just train for the rest of the time of the week yeah but i don't give a shit your training it's not providing you anything physical fitness yes but longevity financially no yeah like, you're going to f***ing die under a bridge, broke, <laughs> but you'll be fit. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Why are you only working 15 hours a week? I need some insight into your brain that and just, how it's operating. That's just the way I've been working for the last four years. Congratulations. But again, it hasn't been working. So yeah. why have you not addressed the situation? I just don't like working a lot of hours. Well, there it is. Yeah. So you're a baby. Yeah. Okay. Are you going to man up? Uh, if it means working, working more than four, 15 hours now. I, I'm happy working 15 hours. Maybe 20. I'd work 20. Oh my gosh, what are you? Do you know how hard people f***ing work out there, man? And they're not even making it. And you have the ability to work half as much as them and actually live a good life, and you're not even willing to do that? Well, It's the most immature thing I've ever heard in my life. I mean... I, I've worked 120 hour weeks. Congratulations. You're working years. 15 right now. I don't give a shit what you've done. Yeah. Man, I was just never happy. So. Yeah, I think there's a little bit in between 150 and 15. For sure. But you're not willing to work over 15? Not at this current job, no. I don't. No. An other job. You get a second job. Like, I, I feel like I run out of time in the day. You don't, because you're spending it all on fun and hanging out with friends, going out to eat, breaking people's arms. That's what you're doing. That's yeah. what you're doing. Not running out of time. You're just spending your whole day having fun. 160 hours, 168 hours in a week. Yeah. You're working 15. 153 hours that is available for you to do sh now. You sh I want you to sleep eight hours a day. I want you to sleep eight hours a day. I'm not an evil person. Like, you know, 97 hours left in a week that you're awake. 97 hours left in a week that you're awake. 
and you won't work one more hour? One more hour? Why aren't you willing? No, no, no. Let's just say even for the job you're in right now, even for the job you're in right now, why are you not willing to work one more hour? Uh, for the job that I'm in now, I work most of the hours they give me. Uh, I only decline the jobs, maybe five or so jobs a month. That that could would... be a lot, though. No, that those are the jobs that are they won't pay me any extra. It'll be like I'll only make like ten dollars an hour for the job. How many hours? Maybe ten. Ten dollars an hour, and you only uh, per job. Per job. Yeah. Per job. How many jobs? Did you, you said six. Yeah. That's six hundred dollars. Oh. Congratulations. You now have enough to survive. Yeah. $600 is a lot when you're $300 away from being able to make your bills. Yeah. So, again, that's just the most childish, immature thing I've ever heard. Yeah. Maybe the most childish, immature thing that's action or belief or opinion or person that's ever been on the show, you saying that. I just I was having hope for a bit. They were probably having hope for a bit. And now you've destroyed everything. I just always I've been liking working short hours, short weeks. I know, but you can't survive. Uh, yeah. So congratulations. Work those extra hours. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> I, so I, I you will do you. it? Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Why maybe? I, I still I'm like training here, man. I still like training. I don't give a f- you like. Do you like surviving? Do you like being able to retire? Do you yeah. like having a roof over your head? Do yeah. you like not having debt that's hounding you and keeping you up? Yeah. Cool. Then just do a couple extra hours of a f- week. 60 hours divided by four. It's an extra 15 hours a week. And you're working 30 hours, 30 hours. People, the average American would dream of working 30 hours a week and actually making it. But even if you work 30 hours a week, you have an extra $300. Well, we still need to set more money aside for taxes. So actually, let's see, 600. You actually have an extra $420 a month, which means you actually only have an extra $120 a month, which means you need to start throwing that towards that, getting a fully funded emergency fund. Even if we were doing minimum monthly payments until it's paid off on the Honda because it's such a low interest rate, even though we don't like the term. Man. So I would probably move it up to like 600 bucks a month, 650 But either way, either way. Either way, obviously we can't afford that, but 150 extra dollars left on a monthly basis. You need a six-month emergency fund. In your case, that is going to be, uh, well, actually, uh, it's going to be about twelve thousand dollars. So, twelve thousand dollars plus the four thousand two hundred eighty-nine dollars you owe on one credit card, and five thousand two hundred forty-five dollars you owe on another card, and you only are willing at the ma- no, 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 you're not even willing to do this. I'm gonna have to convince you to work an extra fourteen hours a week, not uh, fifteen hours a week. But okay, let's say I'm even able to convince you to do that. Even if you do, it takes a hundred and forty three months, months to have a fully funded emergency fund. One of the most basic things you can do in life to be uh, in a sound financial position. And one of the most, and actually paying off your cards, 143 months, also known as 12 years, 12 years. Yeah, that's hilarious. That's crazy. You're 35, 35, yeah. not having a single paid for fund, 35 Finally getting out of credit card debt, finally having an emergency fund, assuming there's no economic issues, nothing happens in the industry that you're in, nothing happens in your life, no injuries, no nothing from jujitsu. maybe you get, you know, you can't see anymore, so you can't drive, I don't know, you never know what can happen, it's a crazy no. thing, you were talking about basically killing people, so I know crazy things can happen. Man, I, that's unacceptable. How is that acceptable to you? The, the extra work? That's if you double your hours from right now, double your hours from now, it takes 12 years to pay off your debt and have a fully funded emergency fund. You're not even willing to do that. So how is this acceptable in any way whatsoever for your life? I'm disgusted. Yeah. I've been surviving so far, so. You're not. Yeah. Uh, People confuse that. You're not. You're putting it all on a credit card. Yeah. You're kicking the can down the road. You're not surviving. You're literally haven't. putting your survival on a debt. Your debt is a survival, and that comes back, and it's going to take away that surviving. Yeah. Because you have to pay it back. You are not surviving from your own life. You're surviving on someone else's money, the bank's money, truest money, Chase Freedom's money. So 12 years to double my work load. That's if you doubled your workload for 12 years and didn't have a single – you didn't pay for fun once in 12 years, which is yeah. impossible. Impossible.
Yeah. Obviously for you, beyond <laughs> impossible. Yeah, for yeah, sure. That's hilarious. Yeah, that's that's a lot. I uh <laughs> I don't really know what to say to that. Change something. Yeah. Are you not just who am I talking to right now? I thought I was making more than that. You're not setting aside money for taxes. Yeah. Now, yes, you're going to deduct things. You're going to do this. You're going to do that. And hopefully you're doing it all legally. I don't know. Probably not. Close enough. Yeah. I don't know <laughs> if that works. I don't know. That was actually really sad and disappointing to me, man. You're 23. You have so much potential. You don't understand with your income for the hours you work. You have so much potential. And you are throwing it all down the drain. You're going to look back. You're going to look back and you're going to be so embarrassed and sad and upset at yourself and pissed off at yourself that you did this when you're going to have almost nothing in retirement by the time you're 35. Yeah. You're going to look back. You're going to have seen that you can have a couple hundred thousand dollars saved in retirement by then after some compound growth with your income if you put in actual hours. Yeah. So, so I should double my work and just... That's a minimum, man. Yeah. That's obviously not enough. It takes 12 years. If you double your work, it takes 12 years to have a fully funded emergency fund and pay off two credit cards. That doesn't even count in paying off the Honda, but the Honda will be automatically paid off by then through minimum monthly payments. Yeah. Might take a little shorter because all of a sudden the Honda payment goes away after five years, but probably four from now whenever you got it, you know, but. I'm three years in. Okay. So maybe that accelerates it to 10 years. That's 10 years of doubling your income. Yeah. That's not enough. No. You need to triple your income. Yeah. Like easily. What do you mean? Like that, I, I wouldn't want to be in debt for 10 years for sure. Yeah. But you're also not willing to work more than 15 hours a week. This is the good case scenario where you double that. Yeah. Which one's more important to you? Like work or debt? Uh, probably debt. Okay. So you're working more than 15 hours a week? I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll start looking for a new job. You're working more than 30 hours a week? I wouldn't say over 30. Buddy, it was 30. It was 30 that got you to 10 years, and you just said that was unacceptable. I I don't know what else to do past 30 hours a week. What do you mean? Like, I I haven't worked that in so long. I don't know how that would cool. even Cool. Be a f***ing adult. Yeah. And do it like the rest of us. That's true. We all got to take care of. Why are you special? Why are you this magical being? Who are you going to fall back on? Yeah. The rest of us as society because you're choosing not to work? It's not fair. That's true. Yeah. So what 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 would I need to make monthly to make this feasible within the next like five years? Oh my gosh, I just forgot. I just forgot until this exact moment that you said that one card would be paid off by the end of this year. Yeah. That's not even possible because you're making less than you need to survive. What was your plan? Your plans <laughs> didn't I, exist. It was a fantasy. I, I thought I thought that food would take care of most of it. No, I don't even have going out to eat in your budget. You can't afford it. Yeah. What kind of dream world are you living in, buddy? So so how much would I need? To take care of it all in five years? Yeah. Well, all right. Monthly. Let's see. Okay, let's see. We're 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 doing this very basic version, mm-hmm. not uh assuming extra minimum monthly payments once they're paid off going towards some of the debt, but we're also not assume we're not taking into account the interest that's accruing on the debt. We're going to just do general thing. And you're actually going to go through our budgeting program and that's going to give you a more accurate payoff. We have a payoff calculator, avalanche or snowball. You're going to go through the program and build the actual best budget that you can. Okay. And while I do this math, by the way, let me thank you for being on the show. Yeah. You're disappointing the for me and I'm a little bit embarrassed. I'll be honest for you. But thanks for being on the show because it's an educational resource for many people out yeah. there. And I really hope, uh, I hope this is what changes your life because the path you're going down is very destructive. Yeah. And I want you to be on the show. And if you want to be on the show, link in the description below. You can apply. Um, man, you can get your hammer financial score down there for free as well, by the way. It's pretty fun. Okay, I need to do this. Yeah. I Thanks for having me on because I didn't know how bad it was. Well, let's say, again, this is basic. Let's say your needs don't increase, but your minimum monthly needs over the next five years, you'll need $162,955. Okay. I'm trying to think of how I want to do this math. Am I stupid? Am I being stupid? Is there like a radiation of stupidity at this table? Yeah, probably. Oh, sorry, that was mean. <laughs> it's kind of funny, though. I'll no, I'm you. just I'm being a <laughs> f- <laughs> Oh, I, I am an actual idiot. Okay, I, I get it. You'll need to throw an extra $358 
and ninety cents a month towards the debt, and eventually towards fully funding your emergency fund. And that again does not take care of the car. What's a fully funded emergency fund? That's six months. Six months of your living expenses. Yeah, you need to bring in post setting money aside for taxes minimum three thousand seven hundred uh three thousand seventy three dollars and ninety cents minimum after after taxes after setting money aside for taxes and that's 30 percent you and, said huh you said 30 percent for taxes uh that's a that's a good conservative number to put aside for taxes when self-employed yeah guys it's a new year and you need to make your money work for you you can do exactly what I literally do right now and put my money in the best high yield savings account, SoFi. I get a 4.6% yield on my money and I also took advantage of the bonus of up to $250 when I signed up. You can start 2024 off amazing by doing the same by going to the link in the description below. This is not taking, this, this is the perfect number to get there. But that's also five years of not literally going out to eat once, not getting a single cup of coffee once other than what's in your grocery bill. It's without having any paid for fun for five years. That's without your income going up, which means you can speed it up by your income going up. Yeah. Um, but that also isn't taking into account any rent increases. You know, rent is in a slump right now in Austin, but over the yeah. course of the next five years, you never know where it Probably goes. It could go rebound. Uh, this is without utilities going up. This is without the cost of food going up. Let's say we have another massive bout of inflation. Um, you never really know. Sometimes when inflation hits, it, you know, we get a spike and then we trail off and then we get a spike again. Yeah. That has been seen all throughout history. We're on the trail down. I'm not saying it's going to happen again, but let's just say if it does, then these costs are going to increase. So, yeah. Uh, so, but this is like the literal, like in the most basic way, the exact number that has to come in post taxes. Yeah. So, like, probably 4,000 is a good goal to shoot for monthly post tax. Yeah, basic. Yeah, four thousand, three thousand nine hundred ninety-six dollars and seven cents. Yeah, four thousand dollars a month. Yeah, to increase my money and stop spending. You're not very far from that, man. Yeah, you're not very far from that. What? That's for you doing it in five years. Why is again? This is two credit cards in a six-month emergency fund. So much can happen in five years. Why am I even entertaining the idea that five years is acceptable for this? Yeah, this should be a two-year mission. Should be a year and a half mission. You are young. You have a lot of energy. Yeah. You're fit, you're healthy, go out there and f***ing work yeah. like a mature individual that has something to take care of and you have something to take care of. I need you to pay this off in a year and a half and you have a fully funded emergency fund by then, which you are totally capable of, totally capable of in a city like Austin, man. Yeah. You're going to be working long hours. Absolutely. You're going to be sacrificing for a year and a half, but that sacrifice for a year and a half has given you decades and decades and decades and decades of your life for amazing prosperity. Yeah. And living that fun life that you want to live and having the ability to retire at some point. Yeah. Five years is unacceptable. You find five years acceptable? Not acceptable, but more realistic than the 12 years. Why is that realistic? I've had people on the show with much worse situations who are able to get out of debt quicker and have paid off the amount of debt that you have by the time they've, uh, since they've been on the show. We sent out a survey. We're getting responses. Yeah. You're just being a child. Yeah. I, well, compared to the 12 years that was it initially well 12 years is beyond unacceptable that doesn't mean yeah. this is good uh i don't want to get shot i know being decapitated is worse doesn't mean i still want to get shot <laughs> this five years is still really bad yeah just because it's better than 12 doesn't mean i find this something i want it to be yeah. by any means whatsoever yeah I, I still my goal still is by the end of the year yeah but how do you do that though you're how many hours are you willing to work a week Oh, it sounds like I need to work a lot more. So. Well, no. How many hours are you willing to work a week? Uh, because that's what your main issue has been, is not willing to work. Yeah, probably an, an additional, like, 15 to 20. From where you are now? Yeah. Remember, are you... Okay. Cool. Easy kill. Okay. Let's not say insulting things, shall we? Um. Your brain. Yeah. Did it understand what I said would happen if you're only working an extra 15 hours a week? Yeah, 12 years. Okay, and you just said you're only willing to work an extra 15 to 20 hours a week. I, I would and find you a, said that is going to meet your goal by paying this off by the end of the year? Well, I think everything past that, that extra 15 would all be straight to the credit card, though. No, no it better be. Yeah. But you said cap 20. Yeah, I still think 20. I, I, I don't know what number we're going off of for hourly wage I'd be making. I'm going off of your current. 
Oh, so so that would be that would be that would be like six thousand dollars, right? I went off of right? what you told me you would get if you work those extra jobs that are offered that you decline. Oh, oh okay, okay. Yeah, I would. Which probably, is all that's available, right? In terms of your for, job for that job, yeah, I I would try to find a different job paying. You'd have to get another similar. job. Yeah, at least similar. I'd, I'd try to shoot if I'm doing 15 hours a week extra from another job. I'd try to shoot for another 2,000 a month. You'd need to make 22 dollars an hour. You hit that 4, 000, 40 hours a week, 40 hours a week, which isn't even <laughs> not even what you're willing to do. So what are we even doing? What's what is the purpose of any of this? What what what? Actually, that's a great question. That's a great question. Thank you, thank you, Caleb. You're great at asking questions. Why? Why the f are you here? Why are you possibly f here? Not willing to work more than forty hours a week? What a joke! Thirty hours a week? What a joke! What a joke! Yeah, I still want to get my finances in order. Awesome, but you're not willing to do what's necessary in order to get your finances in order. Why the possible f are you right here? Why are you in that chair? Why are you sitting right in front of me? Well, first off, I wanted to see how bad it was, and I didn't. No, it was nearly this bad. Okay, now that you know it, yeah. usually that's when you do, uh, okay, I'm going to do the thing that's necessary to get out of this. Yeah. But you're like, uh, uh 35 hours a week max, or else I'm going to die. Yeah. I still want to stay, I mean, I, I want to stay at 40 or under. Oh, this keeps changing. What is your max, uh, At first it was 15, because I do want to stay Team. at 15, but that's improbable at this point. So I, I'd be at most comfortable with 40. Wait, what's your phone bill? Do you have a phone bill? Uh, it's just fifty-two dollars a month. I mean, because you, I mean, you have no money left over, so I missed that. Fifty, you said? Yeah. Oh, f you have a minimum monthly payment for your iPhone as well. That's that. That's that. My mom pays for my phone bill. Oh, okay. Did you go to college? No. Look into a certification. Maybe I can gift you a tech certification through Course Careers. You might be good in sales. Nah, nah, you're not very talkative. <laughs> so you might not be good in tech sales. Uh. But I might be able to give you a certification and something you find more valuable anyway. Because again, you'll, if you if you're willing to work forty hours a week, which I don't even think you're willing to, um, you'd need to make twenty two dollars an hour to make four thousand dollars a month. Yeah. Before taxes. Yeah. Which is what you need to get that five year mark. Again, I, I'm still so beyond confused how you think you're gonna pay this off within a year by the end of this year, yeah. and only your cognitive dissonance is astounding. Just the um, where you think you want to go, but you're, what you're willing to do are so opposing in yeah. every way whatsoever. Like I'm blown away. Yeah, I, I I definitely need to work on the amount of hours I work. I I think I've been too comfortable for too long, and that should probably change. Understatement of the history of the show. Yeah, I want to know what you'll actually fucking do. Like I, this, it's a, that is the easiest cop out that anyone could ever have. Oh, well, you're right. This is wrong. I, I should fix it. What are you actually going to do, man? Uh, well, I'll start looking for a new job that will... What does that fit. look like? Tell me what that looks like. Um, I have a couple friends in the nightclub scene, so maybe bouncing over weekends and weekdays. That's something that can fit both into my current work schedule and my training schedule. Um, I'm also looking at trying to start a wrestling program for the youth in this area. Oh, good. Um I mean, can we do that when you're, like, not about to live under a bridge by uh, chance? I mean, that will, an be, option? that will be a paid role. It won't be just charity. You, no, you said you're starting it. You're talking about building a business from the ground up. Most businesses don't uh, make a profit for so a it'll, while. So it'll be uh, built into an uh, already established um, training room. So it'll just be an Who's? additional class. Uh, Henzo Gracie Austin. And they're, they've approved this. Yeah. Um, so now we're looking either end of this month or beginning of next month. What do you think you're going to make? Uh, you obviously you have to recruit have a, people and hope people sign up. Yes. Yeah, so we have about, we have a, uh, on my current team right now of people that committed quote unquote current team. You yeah. The clients. Yeah. It's we call it team, but yeah, clients, whatever you want to call it. Sure. Uh, we have 10, so it should be about $200 per class once a week, 800. That's if we do it. Gosh. I'm still... That's still in the air. I wish I had. This is we're recording this on a Friday. Yeah. I really wanted to have some hope in someone before I was heading into this weekend. You've destroyed me. <laughs> Maybe I'm just getting jaded, but you've destroyed me. Sending a budget, stupid as f makes no sense. You basically missed the payment. Zero out of ten. Your debt. It's not even close to the worst for your age. 
It's stupid, but it's not like the worst. Four out of ten. You're just you're just not willing to do anything to tackle it. That an actual adult with any semblance of maturity would do. Emergency fund. Technically nothing because it's all saved up for taxes. Zero out of ten. Retirement. You contribute a few hundred bucks. I mean, what what is this even invested in? Uh, just S and P, and then uh, through what platform? M one. Okay, I've heard okay things about M one. And then uh, like a couple dollars in Nvidia. I've personally been using. Moo Moo, and it looks better than. Yeah, either way, doesn't matter too much. Nvidia? Oh gosh, man. Is that bad? Well, it, what what percentage is that of your overall portfolio? I'm not going to give investing advice. That just uh, seems like I mean, being it's, a little spooky, spooky. It's thirty percent of thirty percent. So like, was that twelve percent, eleven percent? Retirement, one out of 10, because you have something in there. Real estate, nothing, zero out of 10. Hammer financial score, one out of 10. Make sure to check out all the resources linked in the description below. They are what I use or would use in specific situations, including the best budgeting program in the history of the internet. But I do want to end this on a positive note and I'll let you beat the sh my producer. Oh, thank goodness. End this portion. So we're gonna go over a throw into a choke today. So we're gonna get over and under, we're gonna put our head ah! and lay him down. Now once we get him here, we take our arm all the way around, Holy shoulder here, and then we just squeeze until he goes out. I, you didn't brush your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! He knows his that really suck. <laughs> Thanks to all of our Patreon producers for making this episode possible. If you want to participate in an episode of Financial Audit and you're able to make it to Austin, Texas, please fill out an application in the survey linked in the description below. You can also send a link to your friends or family who you think might be good to be on the show. If you have any questions, you can email casting at calebhammer.com. 